Hey everyone, what's going on? And I'm making this video because I have this problem and I managed to go from 96 gigabytes of system storage all the way down to about 30 gigs and I could go even lower in just a couple of minutes. Let me show you how I did that. Okay, so you probably know that this is a problem among uh, like Mac users in general and especially those like me who only have 128 gigs capacity on my MacBook, which I already said and made a video about and like that was kind of a mistake I did because I thought it's gonna be enough. But anyways, since the storage is not upgradable, I'm actually just stuck with 128 gigs and if 96 gigs out of that is just taken up by the storage, which is no way to be deleted, at least until right now, then it's kind of sad story. But let me show you how I actually managed to clear and delete this amount of storage. At first I looked it up online and there, there is naturally a bunch of solutions out there and all of them are just different. At first I found a video or an article I can't remember, but it was about um, like a way how to delete that just because it's some backups going on but uh, that tutorial was super difficult i was supposed to open up the terminal right write down so many different things and then hit enter wait for it's gonna be completed and uh, that kind of stuff and obviously this did not work and i even went to the apple store and, and i was told that i'm supposed to let the macbook right there at the store so some technical guy can take a look at it or i can make an appointment for me to meet the person and tell me what's going on and clear it and soon I found out that it was no need for that and the reason why I was able to delete it was because of an application of a third-party app that I downloaded right from the App Store. It was just so simple, but I just could not find it. Well, the app is called the Daisy Disk, and the name doesn't sound really professional or anything, but uh, this app really solved all of my problems. It's not free, however. It offers you to download it and use it for like a free trial, but uh, this doesn't get you anywhere since you can only locate the files that take up a lot of space, but you're not able to delete them until you buy the full version. So I just went ahead and paid the $10 and it was really worth it, I have to tell you right now. So you obviously open up the App Store, search for it and you have to download it. I would recommend you getting the paid version straight away, like I said, but feel free to just try it out for free and download it from the web using Safari. Okay, I'm sorry I'm interrupting the video, but I wanted to say that if you are interested in this kind of content, then take a look at my channel and if you like the videos that you see, then click on the subscribe button because it's gonna help the channel and it's gonna help you stay updated. And also, if you find this video useful, this way of solving the problem helps you, then support the video with a thumbs up and then let's continue with the video right now. So once you open up the app, you can see this kind of thing and you have to just scan your MacBook. It's not gonna take long. I mean, I expect it to take it like 10 minutes or so. In just a couple of seconds, you get the result and the graph is really fancy looking one. You can see it's like a giant circle and that is divided into some colorful areas. Each is representing something else. So in the middle, you can see that you have the, um, the entire amount of storage so you can see what you have for example users you have some system storage applications usually the biggest portions of the graph are those unneeded files that you don't really care about and you and you just want to delete but don't know how to do it in my case uh, the uh, unneeded files were those like some backups and caches from photoshop and from adobe premiere pro because i use uh, these apps like all the time and that was the reason why there was so much clutter going on in my, on my macbook and like I said, since this is just 128 gig version, it was really, it, were, it was really a problem. So once you find the files that you just want to delete, you can click on individual portions and it's gonna create a, like a smaller circle containing all of the other, even smaller files. But if you just want to delete something, you have to drag it to a trash can, which is located in the lower left corner of the app. So you're just gonna drag it right there and you can keep uh, searching through your files to find out what else you want to delete. Once you have all of the files, once you have all of them in the trash can, you have to click delete and it just it's also going to give you five seconds to change your mind in case you want to do that because after then all of the files will be deleted forever. And the thing is that 
You could do the very same thing even without the paid version, but until or except that last final step, which is the most important one to delete the files. You're not able to do that without the paid version. So that's the reason why I just went ahead and purchased that right away. I'm actually not able to show you all of the things I did because I did it before and I was not recording it. So you can only see that I took a screenshot before and after and I got 70 gigs free that I can use, whereas before I had about 5.9, which is a huge difference, and I just didn't lose anything, all the files that I use are there, only some backups, shared files, and some clutter got removed, and this is exactly the point of this video. This is how you do it. Obviously, you're not able to decrease the number of the system storage to like zero, since the system has to take something, but normal size is from like, th from 7 to 11 gigs, but it shouldn't exceed that i mean like if you see that the system takes up 90 gigs then you know that something isn't okay and that you have to do something one thing that i also like about this app is that it's not like subscription fee you pay once and the app is for you so you can use it all the time and and because of the fact that you are using the very same apple id on your various computers it means that if you purchase it once you can use it on your uh, other mac computer so this is really a good thing and this app really helped me, that's why I'm sharing it. I mean, of course, it's not anything paid. I mean, it's not a sponsored or anything like that. I just liked it. It just really helped me. I'm showing you the results, and this is the reason why I'm making this video at first place. Of course, the app is going to be linked down below in the description, even though I don't really think that this is necessary. All you have to do is just click on the app store and search for it. But yeah... I'm actually really happy that this this is the kind of video that should work for everybody. It doesn't matter if you have a MacBook, Mac Mini or anything else, what version, what storage capacity, this should work for everybody since this is a disk scanning tool and if you see that your system takes a lot, it doesn't have to be the same files as I have but uh, there is definitely something else which is physically stored on your SSD or hard drive, doesn't matter, this should work. So it's just gonna find out what it is and you have the option to delete it because if you would go through the finder it's just so difficult to find these kind of files and this app makes it so much easier for you that's why i recommend it so i want to say that this is pretty much the end of this video i don't know what else i could say hopefully i i actually really hope that this video helped you clear your storage on your mac and if you are interested in this kind of content in the future, make sure you smash the subscribe button because I try to post these videos that are helpful, you know, so if you don't want to miss them, click the red subscribe button and also support this video if, with a thumbs up if you liked it and if this worked for you. So thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.